So I have um, a little bit of news to share with you as I put this thing together. Um, yeah, so this is, I just juiced the lemon and I'm going to measure that into the bowl and then equal amount of uh, olive oil goes into this thing. I just threw the uh, two pinches of salt in there, the le lemon zest is in there, and the lemon juice is in there. And now I go ahead and pour the olive oil in. So what's going on? Well, for some time now, I have been having uh, sore muscles and joints beyond what um, I would e expect to have based on all the things that I do. And my last physical um, checkup wasn't all that helpful in terms of, well, what's going on? Well, I think it's just old age, the doc says. I'm like, I think there's something else going on. Well. A friend of mine who I hike with, um, she and I were talking about um, ticks and tick bites and Lyme disease, and she was saying all the stuff that she's had going on with that. Hold on just a moment. And um, actually, for I mean, for the last few years, <laughs> she's recommended that I go see her homeopathic um, practitioners. And... So finally, you know, sometimes I am stubborn and it takes pain <laughs> to make me want to go do something. So I did yesterday. I went there and it was incredible. Of course, the first thing they test you for is COVID and I don't have it. Um, and then we got down to the nitty gritty of what's actually going on with my body. And indeed, um, there are um, some of the parasitic things that come into the body from tick bites. I have also um, have a long-standing case of Epstein-Barr, which uh, you get from having mononucleosis, and that was way back in the day. So step-by-step um, step, um, with the homeopathic remedies, we're going to, um, the doc, the homeopathic doc and I are going to fix my body and make it good and strong again for all the amazing things that are yet to come because we do have some really amazing things coming in folks i don't know if you those of you who meditate sit quietly or listening or grounding if y'all are feeling the energy um yeah there's some really amazing stuff coming in please again do not be distracted by what is going on out in the world because they're doing that specifically to keep humanity in a place of fear and distraction rather than being in a place of grounding and compassion. And it's not always easy because we're all feeling it. Um, so this is going to be what I'll be eating for breakfast <laughs> for the next two weeks. I'll let y'all know um, how my journey's going. Um, and I will link the, um, I won't link it, I'll, I'll copy the recipe that I uh, videoed at the very beginning of this um, underneath in case you all would like to try this. If you like beets, and the, I'm using golden beets today, but you can also use red beets. So yeah, I'm about to dive into this stuff. See you in the next video. Bye for now. So I thought I'd just come back and say, it's really delicious. The uh, tart apple with the sweetness of the fennel and the earthiness of the beet and just a little bit of tang from the lemon and the salt and the olive oil enhances it and there's four servings so I've got today's breakfast and um, three more days mmm oh yeah it's really good all right see you later bye